Hello, welcome to this week's uh, FX update. Uh, quite a lot going on this week. Uh, first of all, as always, dollar index. And what happened was um, we had a major positive divergence signal on Wednesday. And really, it's been pretty quiet since then. Um, the market has to make a daily close above 93.48 in order to turn the trend up and target 94.71, which is a monthly resistance. On to euro dollar. And as usual, um, we got an opposite signal. What was interesting, though, was it was actually the day before. So it was on Tuesday. Um, and then we've moved lower. And the key support is 117.64. Make a daily close below there. And that would open up space for the market to fall further uh, down to 114.95. It's important to remember that the speculative long in the euro dollar is still extremely high. Uh, and near its uh, all-time high. So there is the potential for some long liquidation. Pound. Just had some timing points, really, um, but not at resistance. And we held the weekly support at 132.01 on a closing basis. So we need to make a daily close below Friday's low in order to say that the uptrend is over and put some negative pressure on. Dollar Yen, um, still trapped in sideways. We keep on getting positives and negatives within this sideways pattern. What's important above is um, 106.95. So a daily close above there would send the trend up. And on the downside, um, we've got uh, 105.19 so a daily close below there um, and that would say that we were going lower Aussie dollar um, big things on the Aussie dollar we finally hit that major monthly target at 73.94 and immediately come off um, support is distant at 70.64 we have to make a daily close above that 73.94 point to turn the market positive once more. Kiwi, um, that did make a positive close above um, the 67.87 point, um, but then we've got a reversal signal the following day. Um, daily support at 66.36, 65.85. We need to make new daily closing highs above the high that was made on Wednesday in order to restart the uptrend. Dollar CAD also had a timing point on Thursday, um, which just told us that the downtrend is exhausting itself, but we didn't do it at that major support. So 129.52 is a monthly support. Very interested if you get any positives around that level. On the upside, got 133.15. Lastly, the euro pound, and it's a little bit of a mess. Um, we did break down the week before, but then on Thursday, we got a positive uh, signal, but it has not managed to make a close above that weekly level, which lies at 89.31. If we make a daily close above there, then that means this breakdown is false and targets 90.70. Okay, thanks very much.